Hi children welcome back to the class which is discussing about simple machines Now let us see how a machine functions Machines usually multiply the applied force or effort Some machines can change the direction of the applied force Here you can see the figure Here the amount of work done in both the case is the same but a ramp enables the man to do the same work with a lesser amount of effort by using a ramp the man will be able to put the load onto the truck with much less effort than if he lifts it with his arms here the ramp acts as a machine That's why we are saying that a machine utilizes the force applied on it by changing the magnitude of applied force and by changing the direction of the applied force. Now let us see the examples for how this machine changes the magnitude of the applied force and changes the direction of the applied force. It is very easy to use a bottle opener for opening the lid of the bottle than our bare hands. Why? Because a bottle opener multiplies the applied force or the effort applied on it, and hence we have to apply only less effort to open the cap. Such types of machines are called force multiplier machines. here opener is a force multiplier machine in some situations it is more convenient for us to apply force in a particular direction than in any other for example a change in the direction of the applied force takes place when underground water is pulled out with the help of a hand pump as shown here Now let us learn some terms related to the machines. First one is effort. The force applied on the machine to do some work is called effort. Then the force applied by the machine on the object is called load. The ratio of the load to the effort is the mechanical advantage of a machine that is we can write mechanical advantage ma is equal to load divided by effort and we know that as the value of denominator increases the answer will be reducing that means if the numerical value in the effort is increasing then the mechanical advantage will be decreasing or if the effort is decreasing then the mechanical advantage will be more it is because they are inversely proportional so we can say that greater the mechanical advantage of a machine smaller is the effort to required to lift the given load i will repeat once again greater the mechanical advantage of a machine smaller is the effort required to lift the given load if e less than l then ma is greater than 1 here e represents effort l represents load and ma represents mechanical advantage that is if effort is less than load then mechanical advantage is greater than 1 if effort is greater than load then mechanical advantage is less than 1 and the third condition is if effort is equal to load then mechanical advantage is equal to 1 machines that have mechanical advantage greater than 1 usually make task easier most machines have mechanical advantage greater than 1 the next term that we are going to learn is about the efficiency 
the ratio of the work done by the machine to the work done on the machine is called efficiency of the machine. It can be written as work done by the machine divided by work done on the machine. Work done by the machine is the output energy and work done on the machine is the input energy energy so we can write the formula as efficiency is equal to work done by the machine divided by work done on the machine or we can write output energy divided by input energy mechanical advantage of a machine is about the force applied while efficiency is about the work done it is generally expressed in percentage if a machine is 80% efficient, it means that out of the total energy supplied to the machine, only 80% is utilized as useful work output. That is, efficient in percentage is equal to work done by the machine divided by work done on the machine into 100 or we can write output energy divided by input energy multiplied by Hunter. That's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.